Welcome back. I'm Curiously Corey, and this week I'm going to show you how to park your car without a tennis ball. So here's this week's project. It's a ultrasonic parking sensor. So the basic concept is when you pull into your garage, you approach the sensor that's mounted to the wall, and when you get to just the right distance, the light up here turns from green to red, telling you that you've reached parking perfection. So the guts of this thing is a ultrasonic distance sensor. And if we flip this over, under the red tape here is a Wemos D1 Mini, and up here is a uh, red green um, a red green LED. And so these red green LEDs aren't like RGB LEDs. It's a two pin. If you feed electricity in one direction, it reads out red, and if you feed electricity in the other direction, it reads out green. So the nice thing is with a uh, microcontroller, you can just set one pin high uh, and the other pin low and you get one color and then you alternate them and you get the other color. So let's park this, park this, let's park this real quick and I'll show you how it works. So as you can see, we are green means go. And if I move my hand over to the sensor, Boom, we have red, which means we've now reached uh, appropriate parking distance. I move my hand away, and it's back to green. And each time the state changes on the LED, it sends a status update to MQTT. So let me show you how I made this. So first I cut a chunk of an old 1x8 that I had laying around and I traced on the location for the ultrasonic module. Then I drilled out the holes for it to go all the way through, testing a few times to make sure that it fit appropriately. There's not a whole lot of tolerance here. And if you remember my last build video, I was complaining a lot about not having a router, and after I published it, it dawned on me. I have a Dremel with a routing attachment just sitting in my closet. So I got that out, and man, did it make such a difference. I'm much happier with the way like the back of this project turned out. So then I traced on the location for the Wemos D1 Mini, and I routed that out too. Once that fit nicely, I went ahead and drilled the hole for the LED. And when I confirmed that worked, I traced out some lines for my wiring and I routed those out. Then I gave the whole thing a quick sanding with 220 grit sandpaper and my orbital sander. And finally, I went ahead and stained it all with my usual dark walnut stain. So then it was time to solder everything up, and this soldering build is pretty straightforward. You attach a 220 ohm resistor to one end of the LED, it doesn't matter which. And then you just run wiring from the components in between each other. There will be a link to the schematic in the description below. One thing that these recent projects have taught me a lot is that, you know, that liquid flux really just goes a long way. If I could recommend something to just change the way your soldering game plays out. It's it's to get yourself a flux pin.
and then I'm just using a little bit of electrical tape to hold everything in place for the time being. Okay, so now it's time to upload the sketch to the Wemos D1 Mini, and I've plugged it in, and I've selected my COM port, and I'm going to go ahead and hit upload. And while it's uploading, I can just go over in the loop here, there is this distance, which is telling me basically how close I want to be when I'm parked. And so if the current distance that's being read from the sensor drops below 140 centimeters, and it previously was greater than 140 centimeters, then it sets the green pin to low, which grounds green, and sets the red pin to high, which then pumps voltage from red to green, setting the light mode to red, because this is a uh, red-green LED, so pushing voltage one way gives you the red color, and pushing voltage the other way gives you the green color. Um, and after that, it publishes the term parked to the MQTT server, so I can use that in my home assistant to make automation decisions. And then right down here is just the opposite of that. So, you know, if we go beyond 140 centimeters away and it had been less than, then it says that I am now vacant. So we can see over here the sensor is publishing data and I'm at 145 centimeters to the roof. <laughs> um, and if I move my hand over the sensor, you can see now I'm getting a parked status and if i move my hand away from the sensor i'm getting a vacant status so that's basically how it works uh up above here there's some um, mqtt server information you just put in your credentials and upload the sketch and it will be ready to go so if you follow me on social media, you might have seen something about a surprise or a giveaway. So this week, if you like, subscribe, and comment on this video, you'll be entered to win this. So whoever wins this thing, uh, we'll get in touch with you and just ship this right out to you. And if you don't have a garage, well, you could give it to somebody who does. Or I might have some other swag sitting around that we can arrange. So just enter uh, to win. And yeah, thanks for watching. And as always, happy hacking.